What's up, family? Trying to get a morning exercise in. I've been telling you guys, I've been stressing. Become the better version of you now. And the new thing that I acquired is every time I conquer something that, meaning I told you guys, once you think of the better version of you, take qualities and put them in your life now. So once I acquire a goal that I've been working to or manifesting, I add something new. So first, my first goal was getting a camera. And it's on the way in the mail. Thank the universe. So I added something else to keep me occupied and to keep me on my schedule, which is working out or getting a daily. So the fitness room is closed right now. So I decided just to run and walk around the uh, whole complex just to get that energy out. And I set my schedule to work out. But um, family, today I want to um, I'm kind of out of breath. I've been running. <laughs> but today I want to talk about I want to talk about the celebrities and the roles they play, and what type of roles that they play for the um, as puppets for the government or for the cable or for the quote-unquote Illuminati, we call them the deep state, whatever. Pretty much these celebrities, these celebrities that you guys pay money to see, these celebrities that you put money in their pocket, these celebrities that you love, what they, what they are, they are puppets to spread agendas. They know you people, especially the black community, my people. They know that the black community listens to the music industry. They know that we listen to the artists. And that's, that's our, that was, as growing up, that was your biggest influence. Whether it was a rapper, an actor, it didn't matter. And the government knows that. So what they do is they use those people to push certain type of agendas, no matter what the agenda is. And it's starting to piss me off because I see it and I start questioning it like, okay, you keep putting this false information out, but you're not ever reporting on the real shit. It's crazy how the government lets them, lets them post shit about either Black Lives Matter movement, coronavirus, but let them post about these kids going missing. Let them post about these kids going missing. Kid go missing every 40 seconds. I spoke on that yesterday on my Instagram. I got a question for you guys. Everybody y'all call conspiracy theorists or quote unquote crazy, the weird ones. Why are they always getting killed after they expose some truth? It's always the ones that hold the lies that you believe. It's always the ones that push the lies that still that still live. I want you to realize that it's always the ones that push lies that lived or that still live. And what is live backwards? Evil family. Can't make this up. I seen a post. It was pretty much talking about um some little girl. I don't know where she's from. I don't even watch the news anymore, but I guess that she um she got hit by a car or something. By some white lady, and of course they named the white lady Karen. You got to see through the bullshit like Karen is not already a trend for a racist white woman. See through the bullshit. See, see how they put everything in front of you. It's like they just, I could have did that shit. I could have did that for a school project. Wrote up a essay on a fake news report and make people think that it's real. 
in real life, these kids are getting taken for sex trafficking. And they keep forming them in the way of a hate crime. Making us believe that the real enemy is the other race. When it's the whole group that's the other enemy. And that's the deep state. The deep state don't give a fuck about us. They should already be in jail. They should already be taken down for money laundering, sex trafficking. They should already been taken down. Realize that. It's sad though, but I want you to really look at the celebrities pages you watch. And I'm gonna tell you one sign, one biggest sign that they are a puppet. When an epidemic happens, whether it's coronavirus, Black Lives Matter, I want you to strictly watch their page. What does that page consist of? If their page consists of strictly pushing what's, what's going on, it's always talking shit either about Trump, if it's talking about vote for Hillary, Vote for Joe Biden. If their whole page is to direct that narrative of what's going on is bad and you need to have awareness for it, they are a puppet. They are here strictly to just push shit. They are being controlled by the government. They are being controlled by the cable. They are being controlled by the deep state. They are being controlled by the Illuminati. These royal families rule the world. You think, do you think this world could just run without no, no ownership? When you're born, that's a contract. You are, you, you are a number now. Realize that your birth certificate looks just like a warehouse certificate when you buy that bitch. You are a product. They don't love us. They feed off your emotion. They feed off your fear. They feed off, they feed off your anger. Why do you think they want you so fearful? Why do you think they want you so angry? These good entities, they feed off of love, peace, compassion, etc. All the, all the, all the joy, all of that. <laughs> and these bad entities feed off of your anger. Your, your nervousness, your fear. And you wonder why they keep making you eat all these bad foods. They trying to kill you. They trying to kill you. Why you think why you think that all the healthy food is more expensive than the junk food? You gotta realize about the food you're eating. These cows, these chickens, all these restaurants are in supply and demand for these for these animals and you really think there's enough animals to do all that without making them go into extinction ask yourself and don't say oh our ancestors used to do it yeah our ancestors did but that was during the winter and the fall because no crops could grow that's the, that was the only that was the only way of survival and when they did it, they made sure that they prayed over the food and asked for forgiveness for taking a soul. And they also used each part of that animal for something good so they knew that they were not taking a soul for granted. So they knew that they were not just taking a soul and not using it. When you eat an animal, you know frequency is in blood. That blood of the animal becomes your frequency. That frequency of the animal becomes your frequency. And you wonder why you're tired all the time. I made a video in 2019 about this, but now I have more information. You can go look on my page on why are you tired after you eat. You know when you eat food, food is energy. You're not supposed to be tired after you eat. You're not supposed to have itis. Realize that. But do they give a fuck? No. These animals carry all type of diseases. That's so crazy that y'all, a lot of you niggas scared to eat some pussy 
but so quick to eat some roast beef or some chicken or some pork. Like it had, like it doesn't go through worse. Vagina can be cleaned. A female can clean her vagina. But these animals run around and all they do is get steroid shots so they can be bigger. Realize that, family. So that's the other way of lowering your vibration to have fear. And you're probably like, how is fear from eating? Because that fear that that animal went through when it was being killed transfers to your energy because you are eating it. That's where the fear comes from. And I want you to actually think, when you wake up in the morning from a deep sleep, you know you leave in a realm, right? You know you are in a realm for nine hours, a dream realm. And when you wake up, What's the first thing you eat? Breakfast or quote unquote break fast because you're breaking the fast that you went through when you were asleep for those eight to nine hours. The first thing you eat controls your whole day. Why do you think they put most animals as breakfast? Ask yourself, why do they put most animals as breakfast? Because... They want your whole day to be full of nervousness, full of fear, full of tiredness. They don't want you to work because they eat off of that emotion. You got to realize, you got to really understand where I'm coming from. You got to see them for what they really are. You got to really see what they're doing, bro. You got to see what they really are about. They don't care about us. And y'all really think a Black Lives Matter was for us. Black Lives Matter was not for the black community. It's for the LGBT community. Realize that. It's on the website. The founders of the LGBT community are all gay. And guess who owns that? Good old Soros. His evil pedophile eyes. See through the bullshit, man. See through it. And all y'all pro-Trump supporters, pro-Hillary Clinton, pro-Joe Biden, y'all gonna see them in court real soon, my Y'all gonna see that indictment? It's gonna go public real soon. Obama too. Y'all gonna realize everything you ever been taught is a lie. Everything you ever thought was cool is a lie. And for some reason, I still feel like when Obama gets... I still feel like when Obama... When Obama gets in trouble for this shit, when he gets arrested for this shit, people gonna make it seem normal. People gonna make it seem like, oh... I know exactly what they're going to do. They're going to try to use that Illuminati uh, uh, excuse. Oh, they're just trying to put a false narrative on him because he's black. He wouldn't do that. But let them say something about Trump. If you strictly like Obama only because he's black and he was the first black president and he's not black. He's not even from this country. His real name is not even Obama. Barry. Barry Satoro. What are you talking about? But if you uh, if you support Obama only because he's the first black president, you are a bot. You don't know what he did. The bad shit he did. I hope you know during Obama's presidency, more black people got killed by the police than black people did during Jim Crow laws. Look it up, it's facts. It's facts. Y'all got down Donald Trump's neck for calling you guys animals for looting and rioting. Obama said the same shit. Y'all ain't say shit about him. Cause y'all think he's your best friend, right? The well, whole time he's a pedophile. The well, whole time he got an indictment right now for sex trafficking, you gonna see real soon. All these motherfuckers are evil. Y'all don't want to see it, though. Because y'all believe they so good. No. They are not good at all. They are evil. And I'd be damned to let my people keep on getting misled. I'd be damned. Y'all are my people. Those are not my people. Those evil motherfuckers, those are not my people. We are gods. God is, with, God is within. You got to realize that. But guess what? They don't want you to realize that. They don't want you to know. 
So they're going to keep on pushing this fear. They're going to keep on pushing this fear. I'm going to end this off on this. Ask yourself, why 800,000 kids go on mission every year in the U.S. alone? Ask yourself, I hope you know what adrenochrome is. These evil motherfuckers live off of adrenochrome. That's, that's like their DMT. DMT is a spiritual drug. That's like their DMT. They get off of that. They get high off of that. They survive off of that. And they become addicted. And once they stop taking that drug, you start seeing the side effects of it. I'm trying to tell you, you start seeing the side effects of it. Why do you think all these motherfuckers look weird? Watch out for them black eyes, too. That's a side effect. I'm not having it no more. But family, I just wanted to come here and tell you guys, man, we have no backing. The only backing we have is each other. There's no Black Lives Matter movement that's going to save us. We got to save ourselves. And the only way to save ourselves is by waking up and realize that everything we ever been taught is a lie. History is a lie. This is a part of history. Realize that his story. We are not going to be here a hundred years from now. Not, not in this body, of course. We might be reincarnated, but we're not going to be in this body. So don't you think that they can change history? And guess who's not going to know about it? But all right, family, I love each one of you guys for sitting here and listening to this. I want to send more positive vibrations to y'all. I love each one of you guys, man. Peace. And I'm a stay. Hold on, hold on. I don't know if I did the intro, but I'm living my best life. Let me not wake him up. Let me not wake him up. I ain't going back and forth with nobody. <laughs> man, it's your boy, y'all. Dying, y'all. Dying, y'all. Dying. And I love each one of you guys, man. Peace, love, and I'm a stay. I think it's hard how we always wait another day. How we watch things again.